All right, so we're breaking down some Kyrie today, um, and specifically how he closes space when he's driving to the basket. Um, so let's just go through this first one here. Driving around, Tony Parker gets back to the baseline. So let's slow it down a little bit here. So he's obviously got a lot of contact right here. It's bumped. Contact there. Now we have this space right here as he's driving. And theoretically, you want to get around here and just kind of blow by him. But you'll see what happens is he still has this space. He could still go underneath this way and maybe get that reverse layup. But what he does instead is he closes that space almost immediately and uses that contact to come back this way and get the angle on this side. Um, the reason that works is one, Parker's not expecting it, right? He's really focused on kind of the contact that's coming at him. That contact makes him come this way. Whereas if that space was there and he initiated the contact, that means Kyrie would be being pushed out that way. So again, whoever makes the contact first is generally going to be in control of the contact. And because of that, Kyrie is able to push Parker back out here to the middle and get that angle. Again, this is still a crazy layup, um, but he uses that angle really well. So let's go to another one here. Again, makes a really nice crossover. Tony Parker's beat. And now there's all of this space right here. And what you'll notice is Danny Green right here is digging down. And so that space is going to close really quickly. All right? So this guy's coming to reach in. And so Kyrie goes back into Parker. So instead of trying to avoid him and just go through the gap cleanly, he uses contact to make that gap bigger and make it easier to get through. All right here, if he just tries to go through... Right there, and Green's probably going to get the ball or foul. Nothing's going to happen. But look at that kind of jump back into Tony Parker that he does. Because of that, he's able to get through the gap. And because he made that contact, Tony Parker's thinking, crap, they're about to call a foul. So he just kind of pulls back, and Kyrie's able to adjust. This floater off. And there, so he uses contact to his advantage and he closes the space when I guess logically you would think you want to go to open space, right? So basketball is not always about just going to open space. Um, it's about finding the right time to create contact. And even when he's theoretically closing space on this side between him and the Parker, he's actually creating space right there. So you have to think about it a little bit differently than just going to the open spot. Here's another example. He's running down the court. He's got all this area over here on the side. If he decides to keep running down with Danny Green right on his shoulder and keep that contact all the way down instead of trying to avoid it and come over this way. He's keeping that contact, keeping it, keeping it, going right into him. Right? And then finally releases and gets his floater up. So like, why would he keep that contact if it wasn't doing anything for him? And again, when you're initiating the contact, you're in control. When it's the defense initiating the contact, then you're not in control. And you're reacting to what they do. So we want to use contact to our advantage. Let's watch this one here. Splitting the gap. So this one, not so much. This is Euro step. But again, most people... When they go Euro step, get here, and they try and either scoop underneath and sneak it under there, or they try and go wide with a nice hook, um, wide finish. Instead, Kyrie uses that last step. So not only is he going Euro, Euro, he's using that last step to go Euro, Euro, and then back into the defender. Again, that gets this defender reeling backwards, trying not to foul, and then he can extend out wide and get a better shot. 
So he's just a master at using contact. It's not like he's that much stronger than anybody. He just knows how to use it. So we want to make sure we, we know how to use it. So let's see, I think this was another good one here. Again, comes out wide. This could be a spot for a floater against a big guy, right? But Pirtle's maybe a little too close, doesn't want to go floater. And so instead, this space in between them right there, he closes that immediately before Pirtle can get ready for it. And because of that, Pirtle is now falling backwards because if he jumps forwards, obvious foul. So he's jumping backwards, trying not to foul. Right, so he's on his way down, and now Kyrie's right at the top of his jump, ready to get that easy layup. So again, it's all about knowing when to use contact, because when you do, it'll create more space for you. Right? Typically, you think open space is where I want to go, but sometimes you have to use contact and close your space to get the right kind of open space later. So I think that's something really good that you can learn from Kyrie um, when you're driving to the basket.